for battle, ready to bring their skills to the pitch and to the many keen observers. There is no alternative but to be on it from the outset. No quarter asked, no quarter given. Stay with us here on EA TV. We'll have all the action for you live next. Hello to you, wherever you happen to be. Our action comes to you today from Villa Park. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Aston Villa up against Crystal Palace. Thanks, Derek. Well, this should be a decent game today. Both managers will have a game plan. Both teams have a certain style of play, and both sides will want to start quickly. I'm looking forward to this. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Bao Torres starts alongside Ezri Konza in central defence. John McGinn plays with Leon Bailey in the wide areas. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. And here's the Palace 11. Well, it's a 5 2 3 formation to start with, but expect a lot of rotation between the front three and the wing backs to break forward at every opportunity. And the match begins. Ollie Watkins. McGinn. Now with Rogers. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Kessia. Promising sequence. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. A corner will ensue. And played short. Physically strong and secure on the ball. And the press is on. Splendid tackle and a throw in coming up. John McGinn. Good work from Palace to win back possession. And players waiting in the centre. It's a neat move. Look at Dinia. Rogers. Onana. Here's Tielemans.
that he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. And they get the ball moving again. Can Palace come up with an answer here? Ezzy trying to really get at the opposition here. Well, harried into losing the ball. Really effective pressing. Ezri Konsa. Onana. On to Rogers. Leon Bailey Morgan Rogers can they create something from here Bailey and here's Watkins Must be. well opportunity to extend their advantage squandered well what a chance that is he should have scored there Jean-Philippe Mateta. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Tielemans. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Ollie Watkins a good and fair challenge Lacroix Guéhi Munoz Maxence Lacroix and Ketia has it He read the situation defensively and did his job. Look at Dinia. Now with Rogers. Matty Cash. Just cutting off the supply. Jean Philippe Mateta. Now perhaps they can counter from here. Well, that break looked so promising, but nothing coming from it. Pau Torres. And Kessia. Jefferson Lerma. And Crystal Palace moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And Kessia. This could be the equaliser. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Now, who can he play it to? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Now, breaking at pace is always a possibility. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Jean-Philippe Mateta. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Nketia. Big chance to get them on terms. Oh, could be. Corner to Palace. And a goal here would really change the complexion of this game. Who's going to get on the end of it? Might still be able to do a bit of damage. Really good piece of goalkeeping there. 
And the referee's whistle, meaning that the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Villa Park. Well, he didn't disappoint in the first half, Leon Bailey. Sum up his performance for us. Well, he's been the difference between the two sides, and not just because of his goal, but his general play has been really good. Maybe he could have been a bit more clinical in front of goal if I was being picky, but I wouldn't be surprised if he gets another in the second half. And the second half is underway with Palace behind. Can they turn this game around? It's going to be interesting to see. Nkesia. Lucatinha. Moving it forward. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Substitution time it is here. And short it is. Konsa. And just the tackle that was needed. Ezzi. Now, options are plenty. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. John McGinn. Lucadinha. Here's Tielemans. Chance to do damage. But the danger averted for now. Jean-Philippe Mateta. Good idea. Well, the decision is offside, and he's bound to be a bit disappointed. Well, he's actually made his run before his teammate had control of the ball, and that's why it's offside. Cash. Incisive pass. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. And there's the delivery. Only failed to get it away properly. A corner will ensue. Over it comes. And the problem not completely solved. Well, threat over for now. Jean-Philippe Mateta. And the right place to cut out the pass. Amadou Onana. Konsa. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. Trying to really get at the opposition here. And that will be Aston Villa's ball. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. A chance to whip it in. And just offside, but by a whisker, my goodness.
into the final 20 minutes. Bailey. Cash. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Can someone get on the end of this? Not the most confident clearance. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Real defensive resilience. He must finish. And a goal! to increase their advantage it's a two-goal lead now well here we can see it again and no wonder the manager is furious they just have to get tighter here deal with the danger otherwise that's the outcome not good enough defensively So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Shallow bar. Now moving the ball impressively here. And playing it through. And with that, they've thwarted the opportunity. Can he find the right pass? Watkins. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Real chance. And a goal to put the final stamp on it. That will do it. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. And Kessia. Can he make it count? Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. Tielemans. On to McGinn. Watkins. And that's an important intervention. Kamada. Now with Mateta. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it fizzled out. Lacroix. Well, wait, don't go anywhere. We're going to have five additional minutes. And he put it away. Attempting to place the ball in the back of the net, but not going according to plan. Time for a change then. Wendia John McGinn and that is that the final whistle here and maximum points picked up by Aston Villa what did you make of it? well it was a very assured performance wasn't it I was particularly impressed with their play going forward really lively almost cutting through at will at times the result was never much in doubt if I'm honest well they put in a really thorough performance here Stuart yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. 
He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.